Good morning. We're standing here at the eastern end of Gordon Road, uh, just very close to Haywards Heath Railway Station. And I'm about to show you around an apartment here in the King's Gate complex. The actual flat in question is actually through that arch. So not that Gordon Road is a busy road, but it's actually in the quieter section. Uh, but if you don't know Gordon Road, Gordon Road, if you came out of Haywards Heath Station and went over to the roundabout, take a sharp left and then first right into Queen's Road and then first left off of that is Gordon Road. So it comes in up the top there by the station, comes round in a bit of an arch, so it's like a horseshoe shaped road, um, but a great position. It's one of the quietest roads this close to the railway station. So let's go and have a look around. Now the complex was built back in 2002 and rather kindly, the developer who did it all gave everyone the freehold. So in this case, um, I think there's about 20 apartments in total. Um, you've all got a share of the freehold. The service charge is way below average. That I think they pay 95 pounds a month. Um, and there's obviously no ground rent. So you're in control. Uh, they've got a very active residence association who work closely with Martin & Co. The flat in question I'm gonna take you to is actually the first floor one up there in the middle but before I do I just want to show you you've got an underground parking space so this little black car here is your parking space and anyone who's a bit paranoid about parking their car next to other cars look at the size of those bays that's two bays that you could get an enormous car there if you wanted to so not everyone's got underground parking but um, these ones have so come back upstairs now I mentioned location, station is on your doorstep literally, just around the corner you've got a fantastic chip shop and a little news agent if you need a pint of milk. Um, you can walk into Linfield Village from here quite easily, so that's not even quite a mile. And if you want to walk up to Haverty Town Centre, it's about two thirds of a mile and you've got a rather lovely walk up through Clare Park. Now as mentioned, the flat in question is this one up on the first floor, so it's got a balcony. Um, you've got an entry system with this block and I've just wedged the door open just so I can get in and then come upstairs and I'll show you around. And then up on the first floor, which is where the entrance is, we're gonna show you number 10. So there's only the six of you in this little block, so it's really nice. So here we are, I'm just gonna slip my shoes off, because this flat is absolutely spotless. We actually showed this, um, sold this flat to the owners, I think about six years ago, and they've really looked after it. It's all very freshly decorated. So do come in, first things first. Quite a nice size entrance hall. That, well, I won't open it, but a lovely big airing cupboard. And then for me, best room in the house. This is what sold it to the owners originally. You're, it's a shame because it's a cloudy day, but this is south facing. And rather nicely, you've got a balcony just here. The balcony obviously overlooking the front. Now the owners do say we, ha we can trim these trees back, but they do keep this tree like this just to keep the privacy. So look at this, no one's staring at you. You can't see anyone else, they can't see you. Really nice. But lovely to have a bit of outside space. So very much, as you can see, lounge stroke dining room, dining area there, little lounge area there with again, another great big window overlooking the front. Separate kitchen. And we got, well, I've got everything in here. So boiler, that was replaced, I think, just before the previous, the current owner came. Um, you got a little dishwasher there. There's a washing machine there. Now there is a door. Uh, they've only just put that in, so that's a new washer dryer. Um, there is a door up on the cupboard there to go on there if you wanted to. And of course, the oven and hob and a fridge freezer, a tall standing fridge freezer. Plenty of room for bins. But really nice. It's nice to have a separate kitchen. A lot of people would rather have, you know, or a, lot of the, a lot of the modern properties, should I say, have very much open plan kitchen living areas. So it's quite nice to have the separate room. And then bedrooms, they're both generous doubles. This is the biggest of the two. And then this is looking over the back. We're backing onto the uh, Bridge Road Industrial Estate. They're just refurbishing one of the buildings there. That's why there's a bit of noise today. But a nice big bedroom here. This one's got the ensuite. Absolutely spotless. Got an oversized shower in there as well. Next door, you've got the family bathroom. Look at that, spotless with a window. Do like a bathroom with a window. And then this is the smallest bedroom, which is still a nice big double. So they've got this great big corner sofa here. Like I've put a lot of people there working from home, but even better on that wall, two sets of double wardrobes. So tons of storage, not enough from either half, but plenty of storage there. And again, that's overlooking the back as well. So there you go. That is number 10 Kingsgate. It's a first floor apartment. 
The best news going is you've got, well, there's no ground rent, so you haven't got any headaches there. You've got a mega lease. It's 999 years from 2002. However, you own a share of the freehold. It's a very well-managed complex with a service charge at £95 a year. What's that work out? £1,140 a, a year. Uh, sorry, £95 a month, which is £1,140 a year, is all very much in control. And we've got all the breakdown of the service charges to give you an idea it is. And if you're looking at this as a lock up and go and use it as a UK bolt hole, absolutely perfect. But if you're going to rent it out, I reckon this would probably get at least 1250 maybe £1,300 a month. So a good return on your investment. I hope you found that video helpful. If you'd like to have a look, please give Mansell McTaggart a call in Hayward Teeth. And any feedback you got for our videos, do let us have it. Follow us on YouTube or subscribe to our YouTube channel because these videos are live on there way before they're on Rightmove. Thanks for watching.